Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making another snow globe tumbler, so let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be using some of these beautiful glitters I got from Laura's Art Corner. Be sure to check her out for all your glitters. She has tons of different beautiful glitters on her website. I will link it down below along with my discount code. What I'm going to do is use about four and a half of these baggies. I think I'm going to do blue, purple, pink, and white. And I'm also going to add some of these fun star shapes to my cup. So what I have here is a Starbucks tumbler. I went ahead and drilled the hole in the bottom of the cup off camera. I used a 5 16 of an inch drill bit right here to drill the hole and when you do that you want to make sure you're really careful and you don't drill through the inside layer of the cup. Um, this is an insulated double wall Starbucks tumbler from Starbucks and like I said just be really careful when you're drilling that hole. Um, if you go through the inner layer or the inner you know part of the cup it'll basically be ruined so you don't want to do that. So the easiest way I found to add your glitter to your cup, you can use whatever glitter you want, is to just pour it on the bottom of the cup here and then tap the side. Super simple and easy and that glitter just falls right down through the hole into the wall of the cup. And if you get a little clog, what you can do is just take a toothpick and kind of just um, move it around inside that hole that you drilled it'll remove that clog and then you can go back in and start tapping in the rest of your glitter. But you can see it falls down really easy. It's the easiest way I've found to get the glitter inside the cup. And then what I like to do is just take my finger, cover the hole and shake it up a bit just to kind of get that glitter dispersed all throughout the cup. Now I'm going to go in with some of this blue glitter. It's a really gorgeous color. It's kind of like a mixology glitter. It's got chunky glitter, fine glitter, um, different shapes of glitter. There's some stars and moons and butterflies in it. And when you make these cups, the chunkier glitter works best. Um, you don't want to use like all fine or super fine glitter. Um, that glitter doesn't float very well in the vegetable glycerin and water mixture that we're going to use to fill the cup. Um, I found that if you use a combination of chunky glitter and fine glitter that works really well or just all chunkier glitters. It's totally up to you what colors you want to make your cup. And I made one of these cups previously. I will link that video down below in the description box as well and I'll leave it at the end card screen of this video. At the end of the video just click it and it'll take you straight to that video. And in that cup I used a lot less glitter. I want to say I used about half of the amount of glitter I used on this cup and I found if you really load it up with glitter it turns out better so like I said I used about four and a half or five baggies of the glitter and I would say each bag had a little over two tablespoons of glitter in it so I would say maybe like six tablespoons of glitter would be good um, and that's really gonna make your cup pretty and you'll get lots of fun glitter floating giving you the snow globe effect and again, after I got that blue glitter in there, just kind of take your finger, plug the hole, shake it up so it gets nice and dispersed all around the cup. I didn't want to bore you guys to death, so I went ahead and added some pink, some purple, and some white iridescent glitter into my cup. Same process, just pouring it on the bottom and tapping it down on the side of the cup to get it to float down in there. And you can see how much glitter I added. I really loaded it up with glitter this time. And I'm just going in and kind of shaking it, moving that glitter around so it gets nice and spread evenly kind of throughout the cup. And you can see, you know, all the glitter is going to accumulate at the bottom of the cup or the top of the cup. Um, when you flip it over, it would be the top of the cup. And that's no problem. Um, we're going to kind of shake it up as we add the vegetable glycerin mixture. And what we're going to use to fill the cup is vegetable glycerin and water, a one to one ratio. So you just pour equal amounts into a little bowl, mix it up, and you want to make sure it's 
food grade vegetable glycerin. I got this off Amazon. I'll link it down below along with these little pipettes that I use to fill my cup. So I went ahead and poured a half a cup of water into my bowl here and now I'm going to pour a half a cup of vegetable glycerin and the vegetable glycerin's oily. It's thick. It's almost like vegetable oil but it's a lot thicker so make sure you have some paper towels handy in case you spill so you can clean it up um, because like I said it is kind of greasy oily and then just mix it together I like to whisk it with a fork and you'll see it's got like stringy lines um, kind of like striations in the in the mixture just make sure you mix that really well I mix it for about two minutes and you'll know it's done because it's gonna look just like water so here's what it's looking like all mixed. See how it looks just like water, nice and clear. That's what you want. And then you just take your pipette, fill it up all the way, shove it kind of down into that hole there and start filling it. Super simple and easy. Um, periodically, what you're gonna wanna do is just take your finger, plug that hole and really shake the cup up. You, especially when you first start filling your cup because you want that vegetable glycerin to go down underneath that layer of glitter that's sitting right at the bottom of the cup here. You really want that vegetable glycerin to get down there and kind of go under that glitter so you won't have any problems getting your cup all the way full with the vegetable glycerin mixture. So I would say, you know, after every maybe seven or eight pipettes full, just take your finger and mix it around so you don't have any kind of just bare glitter or pure glitter sitting there you want to make sure it's all nice and mixed and doing this will also make sure that your glitter floats nicely once you have your cup all the way full with the vegetable glycerin and water mixture and a half a cup of each was actually too much for this cup i only needed about a quarter cup of water quarter cup of vegetable glycerin so note for next time only you do about a quarter cup of each so what i'm doing now is taking some isopropyl alcohol 91 percent and just cleaning the bottom of the cup and i was actually trying a new technique to seal this cup I was going in with tape, making an X design. This is just clear packing tape and making sure, you know, everything was nice and sealed. I went in with some scissors and cut the extra tape off and I was going to try to use regular epoxy, just my um, epoxy resin store general use epoxy. And this 100% did not work. Um, there was a slow leak and when I checked it the next day, there was water that had had kind of got on top of my layer of epoxy it didn't seal so i was really bummed about that but i wanted to include this little clip in the video to show you guys what did not work for me so what i ended up doing was pulling that tape off pulling the epoxy off and it peeled right off because it wasn't bonded to the cup and what i did was took a felt bumper you can see it right there it's white i like to use those on the bottom of my coasters and i shoved it in that hole took a little piece of tape, taped that up, and now I'm going to go in and seal it with my Gorilla Glue Epoxy. And I got this Gorilla Glue Epoxy off Amazon. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. You just take your, um, take the nozzle off and you just push it out and it comes out equal parts just like this. Super easy to use. And then you just mix it up for one minute. And then what I like to do is just kind of drop it over that hole and you don't have to use the felt bumper to plug the hole I just did that because I had one handy you could just use a piece of tape and then go in and take your epoxy just like this drop it over the hole this epoxy works better than one-to-one -one ratio epoxies because it sets up in five minutes so it doesn't have a chance to start leaking if you do have a slow leak it's gonna seal that up and it sets up a lot faster than regular epoxy. And if you do end up having a situation where your cup leaks, no big deal, just sand it down with some sandpaper just lightly and then go in and do another layer of the Gorilla Glue epoxy the next day. And they actually have plugs that you can get to plug the cup or the hole on the bottom of the cup. I'll link those down below as well. I'm going to be getting some of those and making another cup using that. To see how well those work, you can get them on Amazon and the size, you know, depends on how 
the size you're going to want to get depends on how big of a hole you drilled. So if you did like a quarter inch hole, you're going to want quarter inch hole plugs. And those just sit right in the hole and then you epoxy around the plug. I'm going to try those on my next cup. But here's how it turned out. Um, it didn't leak. It turned out really nice. So definitely don't recommend using the regular one-to-one -one epoxy. You're going to want to use the Gorilla Glue epoxy because it sets up faster. But I just love the sparkle on this cup. I think it turned out really pretty. And see how the glitter just moves. It's really fun. I could just look at this all day, I swear. <laughs> I'm gonna have um, a bunch of these cups. I just love them, they're so much fun. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and thank you so much for watching. I'll be sure to link my previous video down below as well and leave it at the end card screen of this video. You can check that out if you wanna see that video. And here's what it's looking like inside. I have really bad lighting in my place right now, but I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like inside too. Still really super pretty but yeah let me know what you guys think thanks again for watching if you like the video please leave me a like hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe I will see you guys on Wednesday for another video bye